Hello YouTube. So today I will be teaching you how to make an origami one dollar bill ring. So all you need is this dollar bill and your fingers. So I'm using an American dollar bill. I do not have a tutorial on how to do it with printer paper. But if you have a dollar bill, keep watching this video. So as a result, your dollar bill ring should look just like this. Well, not exactly like this. It has the ring part, hole where you stick your finger through. Um, so let's just build this now. Okay, so to start, you need to face it up so that the one right here is facing towards you. Then, if you turn it, you sort of make a fold right on the line so that the yellow part above the United States of America is being folded. So it should look something like this. Okay? So once you have made that fold, this should this flap should be back here like this. Like so. Okay. And then you flip it over so that George Washington's face is upside down. You fold it in half so that it meets the crease. Or like right here, it meets this line. So you fold that all along. So then you get something like this. So now that you have this fold under here, right here, you fold this under the flap. See how it goes under? You do that all the way across. So you can sort of like open it up a little and fold it back down. All the way across the bill, like that. You need to get a real nice crease for this because this is a very important part in the process of making the origami dollar bill ring. So it should have something like this and then you flip it back upside down now. So the fold is right here. You fold it in half again like this so that you can see upside down one. See how you can see it right here? It's upside down. So it looks like this. Okay? You flip it over and you go to this left one right here. So now you should have a pretty nice crease and you should be able to read the United States of America right here. So, like we did at the beginning, you go back to this line right here, and you fold it at the crease again. So it should look something like that, if you turn it up like that. So then once you have that, you can sort of see that this one is right here, and on the front of the ring, you can see that one. This will be the cover of the ring. So you want to fold it right here to get sort of a square shape across. This will be the face of the ring. So it's very important that you keep this fold while you're making it. Okay? Then you sort of, what you want to do is sort of wrap the ring around like this to get it that roundish shape. Right. And then you just sort of scrunch it like this so that it gets more flexible. And you can sort of do that. Then it, it should unwind and look like this. If you have the one like this, it should be curling 
right here and there is the face of the ring okay then you flip it like this and open it up but keep it like this okay then you fold it in between the s and the of like this okay in between the s and the o this size would fit a smaller finger like mine if you have a bigger i would recommend if you um in between the o and the f right here but i like to do it in between the s and the O. So, you always need to have this pretty good size flap right here. You don't want to fold it back too far because you won't have enough room to fold it towards the end of this tutorial. So then you have the one and this up like that. Then you slowly start to fold it like so, so that you can see Erica, or maybe depending on, your, depending on the size of your finger, Merica or something. You should have it, that triangle should be aligned with this part sticking out. See that pyramid? It should be aligned. Then you fold it over and you have to keep this one lifted up so you can put it under the thing and you fold it, you sort of place it over like that. That This will be the face of your ring. But what you want to do with this flap is you put it through the ring so you want to tuck it under and put it through the circular part in the ring okay so now you have about maybe this much room left you want to open this one back up okay open it back up and fold it like this so you you want to keep that there and then you fold this one back over now at this flap you sort of want to tuck it under right here if you're having a hard time I would get a pencil it does not have to be super sharp it can be dull it just has to be pointy enough so you can sort of stick it and use it to push it under like this. Now you can sort of use your fingers too if you want, if you don't have a pencil, and sort of push it under. Okay? Then if you press down, you want to press down enough so that it gets used to it. You can sort of move this around, bend it, fold it, whatever, so that this is where it'll go through your finger. So then, you are about done. You try it on. Depending on the size, it should be a perfect fit. If you don't think it fits, if it's too tight, too loose, you can go back to the step where you fold it across. So when it's like this and you fold it across, okay? Where you fold it in those words. Now this is what it should look like when it's done. Very nice. You should basically only see this darkening part and the one. So it should look like this. Have the part right there. The face of the ring. And this is what it should look like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope it helped you. Um, I just want to thank 
Rob's World, the YouTube channel Rob's World, of his tutorial that really helped me learn how to make this. So, thank you, Rob's World. I give you a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay? So, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Very awesome videos. Um, so, bye, YouTube.